Tip number two of top salespeople is this, it's get your focus right. And before we get, jump into it, I'd like to start with a story which really captures the essence of this. It's a story of a gentleman by the name of Coach John Wooden. He coached, it was for 12 seasons, he coached the College Basketball League. Of those 12 seasons, he won 10 championships. And the interesting thing about Coach John Wooden is this, is that he actually would not get his players, or he himself would not even talk about the concept of winning. It's a bit odd, isn't it? It's a bit of a backwards concept because it's like he's constantly winning, but they wouldn't even talk about winning. So the question you, you're most likely asking is then, if they didn't focus on winning, what did they focus on? And what he got all of his players to focus on was their personal performance. So see, he knew that by focusing on improving your personal performance, that you would, at the end of the day, get the result you wanted. So essentially what he would do is each and every game he would be tracking the number of passes, their assists, their, you know, whatever terminology in basketball they use, but he'd be tracking all the statistics, right? And each and every game he would say to his players, listen, regardless of the result, as long as you walk off the court with your head held high saying I played the best I could play and I improved better than last time, then you've won. So it didn't matter if they played the worst team in the competition and they won, but they didn't actually play to the personal best. In Coach John Wooden's eyes, they actually lost. Or even if they played the top team, yet they lost in a, in a score result, but they all excelled and played as best as they could, then in Coach John Wooden's eyes, they'd win. And one of the topics we talk about particularly a lot in the Ripple Effect sales training program is about your intention. And this is what it really gets back to, is that for you to really accelerate and be in the top 5 to 10 percent of of top salespeople, you really need to have a clear intention and really clear focus that by performing the best you can, what you're actually doing is you're actually increasing your likelihood of serving the client better. That client will then go on, regardless of the result, they'll, they'll talk to you about their friends, their colleagues and so on. They might, I mean, I've even had people who have uh, come and given me referrals and they didn't even purchase from me. They just, we just was able to, I was able to connect with them in such a way that they, felt valued and served by me, that they actually recommended other people. So the outcome of me getting more sales was achieved, although I didn't actually get the result with that client. What we're really talking about here is two words, accountability and responsibility. You know, it is up to you, in terms of you getting your focus right, you really need to take accountability and responsibility to make sure that your actions, your intentions for going into the call and so on, are really at the best interest of the client knowing that by serving the best interest of the client, you will then get a return yourself. So it's really up to you to take accountability for your results. And this is a, another one of the top tips that I can give you, which really sets apart the people who are at the top of their game versus the people that are mediocre and below. So just recapping with everything, you know, it's really about you taking accountability for your results. Focus on your performance. Forget about the numbers. Focus on the people side of the sale and improve your results each and every game. Get clarity of your intention. You know, the clearer you are about why you're there on the call in the first place, the clearer the prospect will be for you and the result will come naturally.